We're back on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. As I said to you earlier, we're kind of focusing on the arch today. And it's really exciting because, while a lot of folks are familiar with the Kelly Strayhorn Theater, you may not know a lot about my next two guests. To my immediate right is LaShawn Murray, the Thirsty Mind Collective, and Ari Alex, the Queen Pin Pittsburgh. Hey, Welcome. Thank you Hello. so much. So I want to go back because we first met uh, when you had created a scholarship. We were talking, yes. we did a show on uh, philanthropic efforts, yes. and you were a part of that show. Just kind of bring us up to date on where that uh, is. Well, so last year when I was on here, um, we were discussing my scholarship foundation, mm -hmm. the Thirsty Vine Scholarship Foundation, and I started that for Penn Hill Senior High School, gave away my first scholarship of $250, <laughs> and this year I actually gave away a scholarship and it grew to $1,500. Oh my. Yes, I gave it away to two young ladies, um, Diamond J. Whittington, who's attending La Roche University, and um, Autumn Blair, she's going to Waynesburg University. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that and look forward to seeing that continue to grow. And so today, however, we're kind of talking about a growth process for yes. the Thirsty Mind Collective. Yes. So um, now um, I have I've created an organization called the Thirsty Mind Collective. And what that is, it's a um, community organization that focuses on uh, black young ladies um, in high school uh, to help them with self-awareness, um, education, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, financial literacy. Okay. So yes. All right, financial literacy. I might need to take that. <laughs> <laughs> and Ari, tell me how you fit into all of this. T tell me about who you are. Yes. So my name is Ari Alex. I'm actually a blogger. So um, in my blogging journey, I was meeting so many wonderful women of color in the city that I wanted to be able to connect together. And that's really how the Queen Pin Pittsburgh was birthed. Um, we've turned it into a networking group. Uh -huh. um, we do different um, mixers. We have different educational panels, which is how um, LaShawn and I got together and decided to produce black women in art. So that is how that all existed. So I want to go back with you for just a second. You are a blogger. Yes, ma'am. Was that like your intent? Did you land there or was that where you were heading? Um, no. So it started off as me blogging just as my personal journey, as my um, self-development grew and I wanted okay. to learn, you know, just get to know myself and hold myself accountable for things. Um, I started All Things Ari. So um, in that, my, the blog is about plus fashion, beauty, advocacy, and growth. And in that, that's how I was meeting so many wonderful people. Mm -hmm. I was highlighting different, um, you know, minority-owned businesses, and I was um, focusing all of my attention on giving a platform through my blog to women of color in the city. So it kind of escalated into, all right, well, let's make this an actual group. And so now the Queen Pin exists as a safe space to facilitate the advancement and empowerment of black women and women of color in the greater Pittsburgh area. I love this. Yes, ma'am. All right, so LaShawn, <laughs> tell me what Black Women in Art is all about then. Um, so Black Women in Art is an event that we are having on July the 25th. Okay, at the so August that's coming Wilson, up. Okay. That's African American Cultural Center. Um, so what it is, it is a night of greatness. That's how I see it. Uh -oh. um, I'm scared of this already. No, it's true. <laughs> night of greatness. Okay. <laughs> so um, what we're doing is we're having a art exhibit. We are having a VIP reception and we are having a panel discussion to discuss the um, importance of black women's voices um, in the art world. Um, so we have some great um, artists that we're highlighting and we have some wonderful panelists as well. Do you want to name them? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. We have um, Naomi Chambers. Okay. Shante Josie. We have Morgan Overton as our featured artists as well as um, our panelists. Uh, we have Dr. Lisa Lopez Levers, uh, Tara Faye Coleman. We have um, Cheryl Hall Russell, Dr. Hey, Cheryl uh, Y'all ain't playing around. And, yeah, you came yeah. out the gate. Yeah. And it's gonna be moderated by um, the Penn Hills chapter of the NAACP president, uh, Dr. Amy Alexander. Okay, all right. So then Ari, let me ask you this. I mean, when we talk about um, black women in art, um, that's not a common conversation. Right. That we don't necessarily get that kind of recognition. Absolutely. 
And that's really the importance of this event. So I do want to point out that Black Women in Art is actually an event series. So mm -hmm. this specific um, event is, is focused on paint on canvas. So as we dive into that, we're really going to focus on um, elevating feminine voices of color and making sure that there is a space for our narrative to be told because so often it gets lost in the sauce, right? History um, is, is remade and, and retold. History and has not been good to us. <laughs> okay. <as> a, <laughs> history has not been good to us. Okay. Let's be real clear about okay. that. Yeah, so, exactly. So that was really the, honestly, the birth of the queen pin and the reason that the, these things are needed because we need to, what do they say? If you don't have a seat at the table, pull up your own, right? There you go. So that's what we did. And um, we're really trying to make sure that this is a, that Pittsburgh is seen as a place for black women to thrive, right. right? That Pittsburgh is seen as a place where there is culture and there is this depth about it. And although right now we're digging through a lot of the trudges. Yeah, the I was gonna say, yeah. We are, <laughs> but we have to keep faith alive. We have to make sure that we're having these dialogues and we have to make sure that we're creating this space in order to have these dialogues. Indeed, and to be heard. Absolutely. We gotta take a commercial break. We'll come back, we'll tell you all about the event again, how you can get more information, all that kind of good stuff. So stick around when the Lynn Hayes Wheeland Show continues.